Y'all would not believe how much this VHS y'all is going for. This is crazy. It's time to resell, it's time to resell in the Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Derek, along with my wife Jasmine, and we are full-time resellers on eBay and Macari. Basically, what we do is we go to thrift stores, and we buy items for cheap, and we resell those items on eBay and Macari for profit. And we love making videos about it, too. So I'm about to pull some items that sold, and I'm going to go ahead and get them packaged up to get them ready to get shipped out. And then we're going to meet up with Jasmine while she's downstairs, uh, getting some items listed and things like that, doing her thing. And by the way, if you've been thinking, what is this that he's wearing? This is actually a posture strap. I don't know the correct name for it, but uh, I think I found it like at the thrift store. And I don't even know if it's supposed to go on my on my shoulder, but I just picked it up. But basically, it really helps me to keep my back straight um, while I'm working and while I'm sitting down. A lot of times, you know, we bend over and, and everything like that. And I want to keep my back straight, you know. So I just put this on right here. And I just wear it, you know, throughout the day sometimes. So yeah, let's go ahead and get those items. All right, so the first item we have going out... Let's see where they're at. They're, oh, here they go, right here. Boom, right on top, baby. They're called Samuel Hubbard. Some loafer shoes right here. And I took a best offer of $76. So we're gonna go ahead and get these things shipped out. And then to grab our next item, I have to get this step stool right here because I'm not tall. I'm not as tall as a Dean from Hustling the Hooks. So I have to use this step ladder right here. But our next item, is a pair of Jordans. Oh, one pair is right here. The other pair is, uh, let me see if I got it. And I got it. These are a pair of Jordan 5, New York Knicks, size 7 Y. And I sold them for $45. It took about a week, but a week and a half to sell. The next item that sold was this, here we go, Nighthawk. It's like a carbon dioxide um, alarm. But we sold it for ten dollars and forty six cents, and I think we have like, like two or three dollars into it. So we're not gonna make a big profit. But I remember when I was in a store, and I wanted to test it out. I just uh, plugged it up, and I pressed test reset, and literally like it's made like a crazy loud noise, and people was looking at me. So I had to grab it out the wall <laughs> real fast. But yeah, uh, this sold right here for ten dollars and forty six cents. Let's go ahead and grab our next item. All right, and then we sold this. Xbox 360 Hitman game and it sold for five dollars and fifty nine cents and we bought like a, a whole bundle of games and we probably only have around like a quarter to fifty cents into this uh, game right here so not making that much profit but I'm glad to see it go all right you guys before we go any further in the video we have a very special giveaway so for those of you guys that saw our last video we appreciate y'all for leaving the comment ATL down in it so ATL flip is about to generate the winner all right, guys, I'm on commentpicker.com, and we're going to go ahead and do it. I already got the URL in the link right here, and now I'm going to go to specific text and put in ATL. A-T-L. And let's see who won. Drum roll, please. And the winner is... Let's see. Matt Woodroff. All right, And this Matt. comment is... Awesome sales, ATL Flipper. Seems like you must be doing something right. Well, guess what? I guess we are because you are the winner. Congrats, Matt. Hit me up on Instagram at the ATL Flipper, and we'll get you your uh, your prize. Get it shipped out to you. Congrats again. And then our next item that we sold was a pair of Philip Lim shoes. They're actually right here. Got them right there was a pair of these Philip Lim shoes and these sold for $30 and I remember in, in another video I did earlier I found these at Value Village and these were I think like four to five dollars they weren't that much but I've never heard of this brand before so I just took a you know took a bet on them and they sold for $30 and then we sold these Timberland boots these are a size 10c and toddler and we sold these for $25 free shipping and we only have three dollars into them the boots actually sell very very well for us so it's getting um colder now so we're selling a lot of more boots now a lot of people are buying them so if you see them in the thrift store 
make sure you grab them. And then we sold these Dr. Martin boots and they sold for $69. And these took a while to sell y'all. These took probably around like four months to sell. But I know, you know, Dr. Martin boots, you know, since it's getting colder now, majority of boots are starting to sell faster. So, you know, again, glad to get these out of here. And the next item that we have to get shipped out, is this Xbox 360 guitar. The brand is called Hominix. And these actually sell very well. If you can get them for like three to four dollars, you know, they can sell uh, up to up to a hundred dollars, sometimes over a hundred dollars. But uh, this one sold for forty one dollars with forty two dollars. And uh, we have free shipping into it. And yeah, getting this out of here. And we pay, I think, three or four dollars for it. This next item, guys, was a crazy sale. We only paid six dollars for it at Goodwill. I'm sorry, seven dollars for it at Goodwill. And it sold. Let me just show you all first. It is a FedEx jacket, y'all. Crazy by Chase Authentics. It's a size double XL. And it sold, guys, probably like three or four days after we listed it. Got the back. FedEx on the back right here but let me show y'all what it sold for it sold for a hundred dollars free shipping I had it listed for I think like a hundred and forty or something and somebody sent me an offer for like 90 and I said I counted it with for a hundred and they accepted it so I'm you know it turned seven dollars into a hundred dollars I'll take that all day we also found this Nike jacket right here it's a vintage has Nike on the back embroidered all the way around got the Nike check on the front and this is a size large, 12 to 14. So look what they paid for it. They paid $35 for this vintage Nike jacket, y'all. And want to have $7 into it. If you see vintage, make sure you look it up. Because right now, vintage actually sells very well. So if you see anything vintage, don't just look and say, oh, it's old. You know, oh, it looks messed up. I'm going to just pass. No, look it up because it could sell for big, big money. Speaking of vintage, this next item was another vintage item. It was a vintage... Where is it at? Here you go. Vintage Dooney and Burke purse, but like a hand wallet or whatever. But it sold for $28 and we only have $45 into it. What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. She over here. What you watching? I'm watching Fear Factor and I'm doing my listings. I'm looking up Google Lens to try to find those shoes. Yeah, just very uh, cool, huh? You can just work from home yeah. in the covers. Yes. You gotta be happy. I no know. socks I on. Leave my feet alone. You know I need to get my toes done. Ooh, look at here. Look at here. I forgot. Our daughter, she actually made some brownies and I made the cookies. So what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and grab a cookie before I show you all the last item that sold. <laughs> Alright, we're in the garage now. And the last item that sold for us paid $20 for it. It is this fencing. Um I don't know what to call it. Fencing gear, I guess. But let me show you all how it looks inside. It has a really, really thick zipper on it. But if you ever see on movies and stuff how they go fencing. With the swords and everything this is the helmet right here this is get it out this is the sword and this like has the cover over it right now but it's not sharp or anything like that what else is in it it has the gloves it has the the breast plate like the breastplate of righteousness but yeah it has the sleeve right here to, I guess hold your other arm or whatever keep it in place and I think it has some yep and some gloves right here so yeah we sold all of this for a hundred and eighteen dollars and we only paid twenty dollars for it so yeah we have a lot of items that we have to get uh, packaged up and shipped out today so I'm gonna go back upstairs get them all packed up and then me and Jasmine we're gonna meet you guys in a little bit the next day Found this Toy Story denim girls jacket but I thought it was gonna go for a lot they're only asking well not only but they're asking $15 for it 
but as y'all see the comps right now it's not going for much so how cool i know it's cool but i'm gonna have to leave this one behind not enough profit for me then i picked up this athleta long sweater they're only asking eight dollars for it size medium and yeah this sells for around 30 i probably can get 40 dollars for it so hopefully i can get this listed because i know it's getting cold pretty soon so i'm gonna go ahead and get this listed quick oh yeah i picked up some jordan one toddler shoes y'all they're only asking six dollars for them and these are a size 10c and i can flip these for around 30 to 40 dollars it's not going to be too much of a cleaning so i'm gonna go ahead and get these and get these listed very quickly let's see if we see any vhs's oh, these dvds right here let me see crunch tabo oh, i remember this one teenage mutant ninja turtles but it's all messed up nah let me see what else we got Put these out the way let's see it's a lot of dvds people being given out sealed cartoon network friday we're gonna put that to the side oh, there's another one that's sealed cut see what else they got if they have anything else i remember this y'all richard simmons let me see what else we got nothing else sealed back here all right so i'm gonna check the this horror cut is sealed and then i'm gonna check this uh cartoon friday one y'all would not believe how much this vhs y'all is going for this is crazy so I'm over here scrolling y'all and look at this. I see one right here for $150. $100. Another one $100. $800 y'all. This is crazy. $200. $100. This is the same one I have. $150. This is crazy. I actually feel like Miss Taffy right now. She found, I believe it was like for 50 cents a VHS and sold for like $800. I think she did that like twice. But uh, hopefully this one can sell for $100 or even more than $100. And I think they're only like 50 cents each here. So, man, this was crazy, y'all. Like, this was amazing right here. An amazing find. I can't believe I found this, man. This VHS right here. And it's sealed all the way. All the way around. Sealed, man. Wow. Look, we paid... $22. You can't you can't see it, but paid $22 for everything. This is crazy, y'all. That VHS, crazy fine. Can't wait till it sell and show you guys what how much it sold for. My wife didn't come in because she was a little tired and Jeremiah was asleep. So let's check on them right quick. Look, she is knocked out, y'all. Look at her. Let's see what Jeremiah doing. Oh, Jeremiah, he's up. Look at her knocked out. Oh, watch this, watch this. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? We are in the next store. Y'all know the first store? Jasmine and Jeremiah was knocked out. We were but... not knocked out. I was watching him, and I closed my eyes for a minute. Okay, yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> but Jeremiah. Jeremiah, look at him back there. <laughs> but he he's got... up now. Yep, he got his rest. So we're gonna go ahead and head inside the Goodwill and see if we can find anything else that's good, all right? You ready, Jeremiah? Yeah. No. <laughs> you wanna watch this uh, little show. We'll but watch yeah. it when we get back, okay? All, all right, right. y'all. Y'all ready? Say we ready. You heard it, she said we got 10 minutes. <laughs> Let's see if we can find anything in 10 minutes. Let's see what they got. Oh, they got the Air Monarch. $25. Man. Got some Timberland boots. How much are these? $7. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to grab these. What are these? Crocs? Oh, they got some Crocs right here, y'all. Dope. $12. I'm going to check those out. What are these? Oh, some fake Crocs. What are these called? A Dax. Now we're in the kids section. Let's see if we can find anything. What are these? 
I'm about to check these out right here. Oh shoot, look at these. Oh, these them uh, Kuru. Yeah, these, I've sold these before y'all. These sell pretty good. I'm gonna have to look up this model to see how much this one sells for, but they sell pretty good though. All right, y'all, so these are my struggles when I'm in the store trying to thrift. Y'all see my son right here, watch. Jeremiah, come here. <laughs> Say hey. <laughs> What'd you find? Ooh, you wanna get it? We're gonna ask daddy, okay? Okay. So I'm looking through clothes, you guys. Trying to find some Athleta. Whoa! Where are you? Jeremiah. I found you. <laughs> All right, Jeremiah, you gotta hurry. You know daddy waiting on us. What you gonna get? What'd you see? <laughs> We're just grabbing everything at this point. All right, you guys. So I told my husband we had 10 minutes because we actually have somewhere to be. You see me and Jeremiah are in the car. Right, Jeremiah? We on time. And where is the ATL flipper at? Hmm. Is that him walking up to the car? Everybody just shake your head at ATL flipper. But you know what? When you flipping, hey, sometimes you got to take that extra time. Ain't that right, babe? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> the next day. Hey, hey guys. guys. Hey, good morning, guys. <laughs> well, yeah, it is morning on our side. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, we're going to hit some thrift stores, and hopefully we can find something really good. So anyways, you guys, we just dropped the kids off, as you already saw. Yep. So we're going to hit some stores this morning. We're going to see what we find. Me and the hubby are going to split up, so, you know, we can cover more territory. Yep, more territory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to take you guys with us on the inside. Hopefully we'll find something good. Stay cool. tuned. We'll see y'all in a little bit. We're actually just getting back in from the thrift store and for some reason they wouldn't uh, let us record It was like hey, you know, you can't record, you yeah. know in here and everything like that. So good. yeah, we was like whatever So we're gonna show you guys when we get home um, everything that we picked up and we yep. picked up some uh, pretty cool things hey what's going on you guys it is Jasmine I am here and you know I just wanted to give you guys behind the scenes of the life of a reseller so it is like legit quiet in my house right now and all the mama say amen okay so the kids are dropped off my husband actually dropped me off at the house because he wanted to go and get some more thrift runs in and I'm actually here about to get these items listed so one thing about me I really really like listing items I love being at my home i love looking up the comps i love being able to draft things on ebay so i'm really excited right now because i have a quiet house and i have just unlimited time well it's not unlimited y'all i wish it was but you know i have a set amount of time where i can get stuff listed in peace and quiet so really quick i'm gonna just show you guys some of the items i gotta get listed um these are some nike air pairs my husband found i believe at goodwill super dope y'all i mean clean everything i love it um, also, I got to get these Ugg slippers listed. For those that saw the last video, I know I called these shoes Ugg boots. I don't know why. Don't ask me. I wish we could have edited it out, but we didn't. So I'm getting it right on this video, y'all. These Ugg slippers I found with Senior Flipper. Um, I'm going to get these listed. And let's see. Oh, also, I got these True Religion boots. My husband found so if you notice in the background yes this is our treadmill so one secret about me and the atl flipper we actually use our treadmill as like our to be listed uh pile stack whatever you want to call it so hey when you have a home business you just got to make it work with what you have right and i'm gonna let you in on a little secret for myself this is that wonderful juice that keeps me going all the coffee lovers and drinkers say what Anyways, you guys, we're going to show you guys a little bit later what we found at the thrift store. But in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy my quiet and I'm going to get this stuff listed. <laughs> I'll see y'all in a few. Hey, you guys. So, ATL Flipper made it back. I got all of those items listed. Ooh, ooh. See, having a house oh, yeah. peace and quiet is all good. So, we want to show you guys what we picked up at the store. I oh, think yeah. We got some good stuff, right, babe? Yeah, we got some good stuff. All right. So, we're going to go ahead, y'all, and get started. All right. So, the first items that I picked up was a five Peter Millar shirts, polo shirts. They're all $3.99. The first one is a teal one. Then I picked up a blue one. All of them are size 2XL. Then I picked up a navy blue one. And Peter Millar shirts actually sell very well. So that's why we always pick them up. And for $4, matter of fact, it wasn't $4. It was 25% uh, off, yeah. 25% yeah. off. Look out for the one. discounts, y'all. Yep. <laughs> and then the last Peter Millar shirt, 
was a burgundy Peter Millar shirt right here. Then I picked up this Dunning Golf. If you never heard of this brand before, it's another good brand to look out for. It's called Dunning Golf and it sells pretty well. I looked and made sure that it didn't have any stains on it. So it's all white. Whenever you pick up white clothing, to find out like if it has any stains or anything in it, you wanna take it to um, an area that has light and just hold it up to it to make sure there's no holes, make sure there's no stains in it. So the next item up, so we were actually about to leave the store and I saw this on the way out, ladies. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's a Lawrence Kazar beaded top. Really, really nice, you guys. I looked up the comps. It was going for about 35 to $40. So I just had a hunch. I told ATL Flipper, I'm gonna take a chance. You know, it's a new brand, but it's really nice, you guys. You really can't see the beading, but we're gonna get that listed. Also got this top, this Untuck It for $2.99. I don't know if you guys heard of that brand, but you know, it's still it pretty good for us. So anyways, we went ahead and got Silk that. Silk Parade is not, you know, Crazy. amazing, but it's oh, decent. It. All right, next up is a Patagonia short sleeve button down top. So y'all already know, we saw a lot of Patagonia hats, a lot of yep. Patagonia jackets. We love you know, some Patagonia. Yeah, Patagonia is a great brand, you guys. So we just got a button down. And then, I'm so excited, y'all, because I am learning about North Face. Right, babe? That's right. All right, so I actually found this item at the last spot. It's a really nice sweater, North Face, with the rainbow colors on the front of it. So, you know, we're in fourth quarter, you guys. These are going off the hangers, whether it's jackets, yep, sweaters. sweaters. Yep, yep. so $3.99. We'll probably flip this for around 40 bucks. Well, I don't know about for the sweater. Sweater, we'll probably get around 25 Probably get around 25 30 at the most for the sweaters. I'll show y'all when we sell it. And also, we got another North Face jacket. I always love these like peach colors, pink colors. But yeah, just a kid's North Face jacket. It was only $3.99 and we still got a discount on this as well. So mm -hmm. we'll still have a pretty good profit. And then last up, we also had, <laughs> can somebody say I'm loving it? Is that me? Yes, it's me. Though. Okay. Is it? <laughs> is it? I think it is. Yeah, Burger King is having your way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. there we go. So we got a McDonald's, you guys. Um, sweatshirt hoodie, babe. I don't know, what made you want to get this? Well, so uniform, like fast food uniform shirts and jackets and stuff, they actually sell very well. So whenever I see like visors, like Wendy's or McDonald visors or, or their yeah. polo shirts, I always pick them up because they sell good. Yep, so $3.99 for this, you guys. We'll flip it. We'll let you guys know what we sold it for. We only picked up one pair of shoes and there were these Nike Penny Hardaway shoes, these uh, Penny Ones. And these sell pretty good too. It has a few flaws on it, but you know, not too bad. So they were only, how much were they? They were $11. Um, and take 25% off of that, that's how much you pay for it. Yeah. So yeah, can't beat that. And the comps were pretty well, pretty good on these. So, you know, I ended up picking them up. Then we found this wireless Microsoft mouse. And when we paid $3 for it, bought so much stuff, gotta look at the price. I know. <laughs> yeah, but we paid $3 for it. And it sells, I think, for around like $24. Wait, well, you picked up this bag. I know. Well, see, so we're debating right now, you guys. This is like Game of Phones. It's super dope. I kind of wanted for our house for when we had people over as an yeah. icebreaker. But it was $4.99, but the comps on this, you guys, was really, really good online. I've never heard of this game, but it's basically, if you have a smartphone, it's like a really good icebreaker thing. So we'll yeah. see. We may keep it. We may list it. But the comps were still good on this game. And it's sealed in the box. So yeah. we'll see what we end up doing with this one. You can't lose on that one. Yeah. And then uh, the last items we picked up was this whole nativity set. Nativity sets, guys. They sell very well. So you want to make sure if you see them to, of course, look up the comps, right? The comparables, but um, and the what so that's what we call comps. And um, yeah, so the brand was by Avon. And it's, uh, I believe it's vintage, but this is like the display stand that you can put all of the people under. Um, this is like an angel hanging on to one of the, uh, the ledges or whatever. And then we have, a horse. We have something. Yeah. I can hold it for you. Yeah. A horse. What else? A camel. Because we have another angel. Ooh, what a stack like this. Have some lambs. Y'all, he hit the jackpot on this one. I don't know who this is. A shepherd. Yeah, shepherd. We have a cow. I feel like I'm playing Jenga. Right? I know, right? <laughs> don't pull it from under you. It's gonna fall. I'm not. Have a. Okay. <laughs> have a baby with a lamb, holding a lamb. Okay, how about we just drop it down? Yeah, we just put it down right here. All I right. was trying, you guys. I was trying to show you the fullness of it, but we have a wise man bringing a gift. We have another angel. 
we have some, oh yeah, this is baby Jesus, Joseph and Mary, right here. And then we have another one, I don't even know what this one is, but we paid $3, well, 25% off of $3 for each one. And, um, and yeah, like the comps on these guys are crazy. We're gonna pop it up on the screen for you all to see what it is, but they're selling very, very well. So we went ahead and, and grabbed the whole whole set. So we'll probably, we don't know, we're probably gonna list it together or we're gonna list it, some of them individually, depending on how much that, uh, yeah, how much it's going for. Yeah. So yeah. I just counted it though, you guys, it's 13 pieces. That's why I couldn't balance it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 13 pieces. We just want to thank you guys again for always watching. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we're going to talk to you all down in the comments. Peace. It's time to resell. It's time to resell. In the ATL.